Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to simulate an object squeeze into a pipe in this way with some effect on the pipe. Especially if like this is a rubber pipe, you squeeze something that bigger into the rubber pipe, it is going to expand. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step how to simulate this. So I'm going to just start everything from beginning a fresh new blender file. All right, first I'm going to just press A and press delete to delete everything. Next, I'm going to just add a cylinder. And for this cylinder, I'm going to just make it as a pipe. To just take it easy, I'm going to just press Shift D to duplicate and just press escape to just make it at the original place and I resize it just to make sure it is longer at the center and next I'm going to just click select the cylinder and add a modifier a boolean just use the difference and select this object then I apply and delete it now you can see it already cut a hole for this pipe. Next, I'm going to just make this pipe bigger. Right. Just press S, make it smaller and make it longer in this way. Right. Next, what I'm going to do is just make sure to press Ctrl A to make all transform and go to the edit mode to have a few loop cuts at the center in this way right now once it already have the loop cut you can back to the object mode and at this moment you can add a lattice this lattice once you already add it then go to the lattice options just to make sure here you have three Sorry, four, five. Right. Make sure all you get five. And then next this cylinder click and add a modifier search for lattice. Select the lattice. Something like this. Alright, once you already select this, then Click the lattice, go to the edit mode. Then you can hide the cylinder. First, we are going to just select the top row. All right, the top two rows. And you can just scale it to just make it smaller. Wait. You select the top two rows and also select the bottom two rows. Just make it smaller. And then, next, just select the, the first row and hold the shift. Select the last row. Just make it even smaller in this way. Alright, something like this. Next, we back to the object mode. Then, you unhide the cylinder. Now, if you move the lattice, You can see if you move the lattice, it is going to expand the pipe. So this lattice, I just make it just clear everything. Just clear all the location back to the origin. All right, next I'm going to just add a add a cylinder. Sorry. I'm going to just add a sphere, UV sphere. Make sure this sphere, it can be included inside the, inside this, inside this cylinder, inside the pipe. If I make it smaller. And then, now the sphere is selected, then you hold the shift, select the lattice, the control P, object. Now you can see this lattice already bind to the sphere. 
And now when I move this sphere, I can hide the lattice. I move this sphere. You can see if this sphere squeeze into the pipe, it is going to expand the pipe in this way. Now the effect is already there. So now as demo, I'm going to just simply add a color, add some color. I turn on the texture. This one I put orange color and here I put blue color or green color. It is up to you. And now you, you can have the simulation to just squeeze something into the pipe. And this pipe will, will, add, will just expand and finally it will just penetrate through the pipe and go down. All right. If you want it to expand bigger, you can just go to the lattice, just make it thin and just make this bigger if you want. But if you make it bigger, it doesn't make sense. What you need to do is just go to the edit mode and just resize everything of this. For example, this, you hide everything. For this one, you make the center part to, to just become bigger. This one, these two to just become bigger. Then if you back to the object mode, turn, turn it on, you can see now it will expand bigger. Just unseen it, go back to here. Now you can see it expand bigger. You need to edit the lattice in edit mode to just make any change at here. All right, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to simulate any object to squeeze into a rubber pipe and expand the rubber pipe in that way. The, the object must be bigger than the diameter of the rubber pipe so that you can create this effect that something penetrates into the rubber pipe, something like this. All right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing. See you!